the Hallmark Channel original movie, Love at Sea. They were just here. We love them so much. Mm -hmm. And we love her so much as well. Please welcome Melissa Carcace to our home. Welcome, Thank Melissa. You look beautiful. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having for me. Being here. So in this movie, mm -hmm. you play Alexandra. Yes. You are an internet famous chef. I am. Who um, is on the cruise ship mm -hmm. with Alexa and Carlos, yep. Tony and Olivia. Yep. Tell us how you play into this. Uh, I play Olivia's best friend, so Alexa's best friend in the movie, which is not hard to not hard to play. Um, and so we're going on the ship for my big event. I have the celebrity guest chef coming, and a lot goes wrong. And Alexa's character, Olivia, has to save the day, in which she does. So, and uh, while all that is happening, she's falling in love. Well, yeah, while you're falling in love and saving the day, you said you're saving it on a ship. Yeah. So I mean, this was real an actual cruise ship. cruise ship and an active one too, with real passengers. Is that hard? Very. It's 7,000 people on this oh, ship. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It and was were they, crazy. Were they excited for the Hallmark oh, experience were so, firsthand? First of all, there's so many Hallmarkies on this it's ship. so true. So what was great is that they all wanted to be extras, and they were able to do that. So they were a part of the movie, really? too. Yeah. I wonder if that's yeah. how they sold the cruise. I don't Come know. on our <laughs> ship, and you can be part of a Hallmark movie. That's a great, that's I would a great have selling that. point. There. Oh, my goodness. I mean, they got more than they bargained for, yeah, I guess. Yeah, totally. Wonderful. So how many extras do you think there were? Oh, I don't know. So I mean. They probably just did scenes with people in the background. Yeah, but then also too, like that big scene of mine where I'm like cooking or doing this competition right. in front of everybody. It was in the um, amphitheater that's there. Yeah. I don't know how many people fit there. I would say it's a thousand people. But yeah, everyone was just thrilled. Like they were like, we want to be in the movie. And then oh they all gosh, sat. So and awesome. Yeah, it was very nerve wracking for me because it was a lot of people to talk to. I've never done that before. So I was like, oh boy, hope I memorized my lines right. No, you did a great job. And we <laughs> actually you. have a clip of that, by the way. Awesome. So we have a clip of the film, the one you're talking about, yeah. where you're hosting the cooking competition. Yes. What happens is your big fancy celebrity chef who was supposed to do the cooking yes. competition for you is a no-show. Yes. So Olivia and Tony step up to yeah. save the day and they sort of pretend that they are these fancy chefs, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> Take a look. I don't know who you are, Preston, but you are going down. If you beat me, I'm angry. If you don't beat me, I'm still angry. Can you beat me in my own dish? Yes, we can. I'm going to be the first to beat Preston, and if I don't, Y'all got some explaining to do. <laughs> All right, judges, for the moment of truth. Now, to confirm, you do not know which dish is Maggie's or which one's is Preston, correct? Awesome. I think you'll find my famous cordon bleu. As I like to call it, cordon bleu. Be the best. best. All right, judges, you guys have written a number in your card. And I can now tell you that dish number one is Maggie and dish number two is Preston. So please reveal the written number on your card. Who is the winner? All right, that's Maggie, that's Preston, and for the tiebreaker, Maggie has beat Preston, and he's all good! Woo! I'm gonna go pick that up, I'm sorry. Oh my. <laughs> like a sore loser. A little bit. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's not great sportsmanship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but was that uh, intentional? Did, was that part of the script, or did he just like? Add oh, it was like that? part of the script oh, because Pre that? the Preston uh, character does that. He's like super famous for being like this angry chef, and he's oh, like, you have to do it. Funny. So yeah, and like Tony's character is like, oh wait, oh clean this up. Oh, this okay. isn't really me. Yeah, because he broke character from Preston, <laughs> yeah. and suddenly his, his yeah. American accent was exactly. back. Exactly. <laughs> so this is this is your first Hallmark movie. It is. But this isn't the first time you've actually worked with Carlos. No. You've known him since you were sixteen. Sixteen. So we grew up together in Florida. We were in the first. First, uh, not the first, but the same acting school together. Um, and he was our star. He was like the guy that was booking like crazy and everybody wanted to be and strive like to be. So when I got this movie, I actually didn't tell him right away until it was like official. And it was our first fitting and I was like, hi. And he was like, oh my God, I haven't seen you in years. Oh, how funny. Yeah. Because you, know, you didn't want it to be like nepotism. You're like, I'm going to no. get this role on my own. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm going to fight. Don't worry. I'm going to get I'm going to win this fair and square. <laughs> and um, did. Yeah, but it was great. Was what a great all... experience. Now, was this also your first experience? Experience on a cruise ship, or had you been on a cruise ship before? I have been on way too many cruise ships. Oh, really? really? I think since I was like two or three years old, and actually this particular cruise I went on last year. So I did this same the cruise. Exact cruise. Same exact cruise. Same they itinerary. Movie, though. No, so this one was better. way better. <laughs> Although my parents did come on the first week, they wanted to experience it. So that was it a Caribbean cruise? Yeah. Okay. The same exact itinerary we did: St. Thomas, St. Kitts. 
The Bahamas. Oh, the Bahamas. whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Uh, I remember the Bahamas. I have cruise ships in Let the Bahamas. Let me tell you something. Yeah, Rick knows a thing or two about cruise ships. <laughs> you grew up in the Bahamas. I did, That's yeah. Amazing. So I'd, I'd see cruise ships all the time. I mean, you know, I six or eight them. of them come in on a, every yep. few days. and. I like to take my jet ski around and kind of oh, drive up next to him. Oh, that's oh, my, that's my daughter right there. I don't even know if that's the one you guys are on, but we chase, we try to chase oh, the cruise ship. Because you want to get the waves. Yeah. Is that why you're doing that? But you can see the size. If you're on a, a, oh, yeah. on a jet ski, you can oh, see how, how tall they are. Oh, they're massive. No, it's they're legitimately a, a floating hotel. It really is. They have they have ice skating. I mean, they have rock crazy. climbing. They have zip lining. I mean, oh, it's like, I mean, it's insane. Yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. be afraid I'd zip line right off the side and end up in the ocean. That's a little too much for me. Speaking of your family, that you took yes. your family, uh, you went with your family on the cruise last year. You have a big, wonderful Cuban family that I you do. are so proud of. Yes, I am. Very much. So very much. much so that you have a new television show, mm -hmm. Hialeah. Hialeah, that, yeah. That is really based around your experiences and your Yeah. Family. So Hialeah is a real place. It's a city in Miami. It's uh, primarily Cuban, but now there's just a lot of different mixed cultures in it. Um, but it's, I mean, there's everything's in Spanish. Like, I mean, it's just like you're literally like in another world. Um, and it's based off of this Cuban family, very similar to mine. And it's just a lot of fun, a lot of comedy. It's great. Yeah. yeah. Do you, has your uh, family seen who is portraying them? Do you know what I mean? Because they do. Always, and do you know what's what so think? funny? Well, they think it's very similar to our family, which they're like, wow, we really like that. That's kind of like, um, but it's funny because my mom's name is Lourdes. And so when uh, our writer was writing our script, he named or was developing the characters, he named her Lourdes. And I said, wait. I was like, did you did you do that on purpose? And he yeah. was like, no, it just came to me. He didn't know my mom at the time either. Stop it. Yeah. So her name is Lourdes, and so is like my real mom or my fake mom in the show. Uh, and then my grandparents, me, my people, are my grandparents who are no longer with us today, but he named them that as well. Oh my yeah. gosh, so this was meant to be. It was meant to be, yeah. What a wonderful thing. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank this is your you. first time here. Do not make it your last. No, please. I would love to come back so again. Much, Melissa, thank well, you're you hanging so out much. for the rest of the day yes, with us, I am. by the way. You're going to eat a lot. You're going to have fun. Can't wait.